Hello everyone and welcome to another stream. I'm Ewan and welcome to Ewan Smith Music. Now, if you if this is your first time here and you do not have a clue what, who I am or what I'm about, then check out the description of this video below and you'll find a whole list of information, links, options, opportunities for you to get stuck in with. So basically, welcome as part of Make Music Day. I'm going to be making some music and when it's finally downloaded, I will be using the new Spitfire Audio Albion solstice which has just gone live today in the last hour or so so it's about halfway downloaded so i'm going to be using just other examples of audio and sound libraries and we're going to be working together and if you want to suggest something drop a comment below say hello i will feature it on the screen you'll be able to do that and i'll be able to uh, yeah you'll be able to carve out what i do so if you uh, want a particular style or genre just check that out let me know and yeah we can we can take it from there so it's completely your stream as well as obviously me showcasing music making and i'm going to be doing this completely unplanned so everything you will see and hear will be done completely in real time so as i say your company will be much appreciated throughout this process as well so if you have never been here before then don't forget please like this live stream and share it to all of your friends on social media so say come and check out what ewan is doing and also if for those who'd be interested in spitfire audio libraries will be interested in finding out what the new solstice library will be like then it should be going live in around about half an hour so around about half past six i reckon i'll be able to get it all up and running for you so an exciting night and i've actually i mean i've given myself about an hour to an hour and a half to be able to do this so as i say i will stream as long as i am able to as well so as i say thank you very much for your company too so i've got different angles and i'm sure you'll be aware that you know if i am using these kinds of angles we'll be able to share these in real time i'm using my mobile phone details in the description below as to how i do that you'll be able to see and hear what i do so so if i'm using the piano you'll be able to see what i'm doing and you'll be able to have a go yourself if you want to see what i'm doing and try out yourself as well you'll see that i've also got a computer too which i'll be bringing into the stream and you'll be able to see the kind of things that i'm using and the kind of sound libraries that i'm using as well and the techniques that i'm using too so yes we'll be doing that too so lots of exciting things so as i say have a go have a little comment down below in the chat also you'll be able to have a look at the description below this one as well if you haven't already then make sure you do subscribe to my channel it does really help and it also helps to uh, inform you of course if you ding that bell next time I go live or post a video which will be quite soon I'll be using lots of different libraries here today which of course I'll be using on my channel too so there is a really good one that I'll be using which I'll be showing you in a short while which will be the Opus Edition the Orchestrator by East West Studios I'm also going to be using the Spitfire audio libraries too and hopefully the Solstice will be finished downloading and we'll be able to go and use that as well as a whole range of others so I'm just going to get started really so I have decided to go for cinematic sound I'm going to be using first of all intimate strings which I absolutely love so we're going to be using those as well the other sounds that I've got is the felt piano so have a look at this one see what you think of it so I'm not going to be having my microphone turn up when I'm playing because you'll hear the, the thuds and things like that and the next sound I've got is the awesome cinematic percussion Yes, lots of great sounds to be able to use too. So I did mention a library which um, was the East West Opus. So we're going to have a quick look at that too. So yeah, if we just basically do that. So if I was to show you that, what we're going to do is we're going to add in that library now. So simply do this. And I'll talk you through the process. Those of you who've been using uh, this before, 
will know the the kind of interface that I'm using here. So basically you import your sound libraries and then it's quite a case of simply just selecting the sound and such like. So we'll be able to do that. Of course I'm using lots of different solid state drives. So I'll be loading from different ones and then we'll see how we go. So I'm just gonna see how they oh yes we're we're quite we're quite far on with that one too. So yes once we've done that um of course ah oh, yes Refreshing subscription licenses. What a time to do that in a live stream, eh? But that's fine, at least I know it works. So, go into Opus, and then we're gonna select the orchestrator, which is just over here. Those of you who've watched my videos on the orchestrator know how much I absolutely love how you can just let go of, you know, let go of yourself and just go crazy with it, which is quite nice. So, just double click on a library, and then you can just go to town on it. So, I am just gonna see what it sounds like. So interesting times there as well, but I'm going to go for the uh, full on performance and I'm going to go for, where is it? It's one of these, isn't it? So, mm. so a good thing about having things on on solid state drives is that they load, they load pretty quickly so yes you'll notice at the top they've got different uh, interfaces you'll be able to go perform mix that kind of thing play obviously if you were using a vocal patch just where you would get your word builders and things like that i've got a video on that on my channel so do check that out too the top here i've got the preset browsers i'm going to go to full scores and i'm going to find one which i know is quite good fun to be able to do Let's go for Rival Tribes and number four. And this one you can go absolutely, you know, you can lose yourself in that, this one here. <laughs> Hmm, let's speed it up. Let's go a little bit quicker, I think. Uh, so let's try a different one slightly as well. Okay. <laughs> So 
So if you're here, leave a comment, say hello, and in the chat that is. So if you are watching on your phone, tap on the comment stream, the chat live chat stream, and say hello. Let me know what you think of what is happening. And also, um, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you will not regret it at all. There's lots of really cool content that is coming up. So let me know what the audio levels are like. Let me know what the video quality is like. And of course, let me know, um, yeah, if feedback, if anything's going a bit squiffy. Okay, so we're not too far off from when we are going to be experiencing the Albion uh, sound libraries. So do check that out. So I'm just going to put in here Opus Orchestrator. Again, you can go to town with this one. Lots of different styles. I've just chosen rival tribes, but you can choose all sorts, monumental and all sorts. So, and with a double click, it just quickly loads in. So, so yeah, it's quite. Um, I quite like it because it's a bit of escapism, and you can just sort of sit there and play. <laughs> So yeah, it's quite good fun. So, where is this note coming from? Mm -mm. Cool, all right, and no bother. So, easy peasy, fair enough. Let's go and make some music then. So. So this is going to be quite a Celtic sounding music, I think. So yeah, it's going to be quite a good fun one, I think. So uh, let's try and take the... Nice, super simple and very, very elegant. So let's see if we can do and slow that down a little bit. So maybe we'll go for 90 and just give a nice. That's nice, so. So yes, um, I'm very aware that obviously I'm using this uh, this um, live stream as a way to sort of showcase music here. So I just want to start just doing this so you can see. So it's going to auto rotate around the different camera angles, just so it doesn't get too laborious for you to fix on one angle. So we're just going to uh, quickly do my gubbins on this. So and that is that. And that is that. So here we've got a really nice simple chord sequence which I'm just going to loop just like that
we'll get a little pulse going and I think just to help I know I don't usually like recording to clicks or or playing to clicks but just sort of helps just to meld everything together so here we go Awesome, that sounded, there's some nice moments in there. Okay, so we can definitely work on that. There's something coming through. It's not quite fully formed yet. So we'll definitely have a look at that. Definitely, definitely have a look at that. So let's have a look at the process then. We're about four-fifths of the way done. So um, 
we are almost there. So, uh, good. Let us do that and let us have a look. So, what do you reckon, then, folks? Um, those of you who are watching this, drop in the chat what you would think. What should be coming next? What kind of instrument should I should I be using next? So, we've got all sorts of options here. Um, we might have some sort of chance for some Celtic instrument too. We're going to be relying a lot on the Albion Solstice for that. So we are, we can actually have firewood intimate string symphonic motions. We could have a bit of um, Abbey Road one, but I wouldn't want to overload the existing lovely intimate strings too much. So we'll have a look at that now, I think, and uh, we'll see what we can do with that. So, as I say, if you're new to the stream or if you've never seen uh, any of my videos before, I regularly make content based around, well, basically, about everything to do with music making. So, if you are a music maker and you make music using sound libraries or if you are just relatively new, then you can check out some of my tips on how to make music that sounds like some composers, how to use uh, sound libraries to create different techniques and things like that. You can also download a whole range of uh, free help sheets and cheat sheets to help you along your way of making music. If this is a new thing that you've been doing, or even if you've been doing it for a while, it's always amazing the, the, the technology and music making and how some people really take to it quite easily and some people need a bit more of a help. And I found that the most popular videos have been the Word Builder series, which has been through um, really East West Studios, really useful plugin to type in whatever you would like a choir to sing and they will sing those words. So do check that playlist out on, on my uh, on my channel and it's quite a popular one and I think that you'll like it. So let me see, let me see, let me see. So um, we've got uh, low strings might be quite interesting um, for I'll um, I'll be road. So we might go um Abbey Road low strings, so So yes. Alrighty. So let's see what we can do here. rhythm at the end that I'm going to fix. It's that triplet, isn't it? It should just be tripleted here. There we go. Beautiful. That's how it was intended.
So from then on, we were basically looking at something else. And then we need to come in with something a bit bigger, something a bit punchier. So let's do that. Let's find a section B here uh, just quite easily. I'm aware it's going through notes. I'm sorry about that. So we need to be able to um, build on this melody here by either doubling it with something else or we yes so we need to maybe add in some major leading instruments so I'm going to call upon the um, the wonderful world of Spitfire Audio Symphony Orchestra and let's get some lovely woodwinds in there I don't unfortunately have sparkling woodwinds by Spitfire Audio for the Abbey Road. It would have been perfect here, but I'm just going to double up some high pitched woodwinds. And then eventually when we get, because it's very, very close, um, we're probably around 10 minutes away, I think the timer says. So 10 minutes away from being able to have a look at the solstice, which is actually not too bad considering you know, it was released just at five o'clock and I started downloading roughly about maybe half past five, 20 to six. So it's around about half an hour before the stream started and it's gonna be finished at roughly 20 to seven. So that's good. So about 40 minutes into the stream, we should be able to really push on with that quite nicely. So Make Music Day, if you're not sure what that is, and again, check the links below, but Make Music Day is basically an annual day where people get to make music in all sorts of different ways. So people will be doing live streams, people will be, will be doing sort of tutorial things online, people will be getting together with people on Zoom and other streaming platforms to be able to do things like that. And of course, if you want to be part of this stream, drop me a, a note in the chat and I will send you the link and you can of course be part of this stream as well. So you can be a part of this very, very interesting way. So, um... Yes, so I'm wondering what's going on because it's struggling to load this one. Um, might have to choose a different instrument, I think. Just for the purposes of time, I don't want to sort of be too uh, slow on this. So if we just do this, Opus maybe will probably be better one. We'll use, um, we can go into search and I'm going to search for, I'm going to search for Celtic Flute. So... Um, so wooden flute or nasal flute or something like that. So flute. Um, and we can audition each of these, which is awesome. So I want a kind of world sounding flute, Celtic. So let's try this one. So, so again, I So I think what needs to happen, and I'm not sure if you agree, do let me know below, but I reckon I'm going to take a piano out and just record here, which should be quite interesting. So um, just a flute and...
So, I'm gonna keep those mordants in. Yeah, orchestrator seems a little bit extreme <laughs> in this situation. So I'll move that out of the way for now. And this would be a nice time to have the Eric Whitaker choir, I think. And do you know what's so typical? I would normally have um, a feature on <laughs> Logic that would allow me to just capture that idea and record it instantly. Um, but of course, I'm not enabled that today, and I cannot remember for the life of me what that short code is. I don't have my key presses installed today, so I've just sat down and uh, just sat making music. So that's kind of annoying. But if you can remember what it is, do drop me that in the chat, and I will uh, capture that. But I'm going to re record another version, okay? So. Uh, yeah, here we go. It's always a funny one when you're dealing with things like this. So, um, so my, it's funny because thinking about something like this while doing a live stream is always, you know, the, the ideas always seem quite simplistic for me. But with when you're kind of free to just let go of the reins and just go for it, um, things can work out quite nicely. So, we are literally just two minutes away from the Solstice Library, the Solstice Library by Spitfire Audio. It's like a song structure this, I don't know why.
So it was like a long forgotten folk tune, I would have thought. Re- quite interesting, really. So when you're sort of thinking about ideas, this could just end up being a sketch because I don't really get a lot of time to sit down and write and play. So this ends up just being a sketch competition. That's fine. If it's one that I never use again, that is absolutely fine. So it's just really to try and get an idea out there, albeit rather simplistic. I think definitely more time would be needed to, um, to have a go. So we are going to have a look now at the Spitfire... Uh, let's just find it. So we're going to Spitfire Audio and it's going to be contact, isn't it? So we're going to go into contact and we're going to, in fact, I need to do something really super quickly. So I've got to keep the camera on me actually for a second because I need to check that this is um, given its proper allocation because if it is going to be a contact library, it will need to be activated via uh, native instruments. So I'm not going to be showing any of those details on the screen. So if I just quickly go to Spitfire Audio and then I'm going to sort this out. So yeah, mate, so yeah. So uh, we're going to log in and then log in, boom. So I just really, really love these libraries. I'm not in any way sponsored or anything by anybody uh, for this stream at all, but it's, um, it's really, really interesting how the... Uh, how these libraries have really sort of grown even in the last five years. So I'm gonna find it. Is this it? Yes, this is it. So view details. Um we should yes, here we are. So I've got a serial number that I need to then activate on native instruments. So we're going to be able to do that and available updates, update all, not to install. You can add serial number to register, add a serial. Adding serial. Here we are. So we're just doing it now. So it's always one of these things. So um, add library. Good, we are now done. So that's what I'm doing is basically, it's an extra step that you have to do when installing this library. You have to make sure it's installed through uh, contact and all as well. So then now we can go into our library, which is, where are we? Solstice instruments let's have a look so we've got cassette orchestra don't know if you can see the screen here cassette orchestra if i just make it a bit bigger hopefully you should be able to zoom in in here if not i'll uh, i'll double tap with my mouse if it'll let me okay so we've got cassette orchestra drone grid and solstice orchestra i'm going to start with the solstice orchestra um you cannot preview these in contact so i'm going to, have to double click these Classic octet, traditional sextet, elders bass. So let's go for the classic octet and see what that's like. Um, and load that in. Unless it thinks I've not... Has it thought I've not done it? I wonder if it hasn't... It's probably thought I haven't activated it yet. So let me just see. Do I have to close, save and close, I wonder? Mm, 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 mm. Let me just do that quickly. Let me just close and then open recent. There we go. It might just need to sort of tell um, one thing to the other. Oh, I know why. It's unzipping. Great. The step I forgot. So it's unzipping. Downloading. It is done. It is done. It is in. Good stuff. Don't quit that. Cool. And then we can go into new software instrument track and we can go into the Solstice library, hopefully. Uh, I've never done this live before. I've never actually activated and gone into... Yeah. So it's, so it's updated. I wonder if that is something to do with it. So we're going to go to contact. We are going to go into um, here, contact, and then into Albion. Load for me. Instruments. Let's go drone grid. Mm. Oh, I know. I'm a silly Billy. It's down here. 
to town here, right? I bet you folk are screaming at the screens going, right, effects, main techniques. Let's go into main techniques. Let's have a look at this one first. Okay, let's load these ones up. Gosh, I'm looking at the wrong window. That's that's my problem. I must be tired tonight. It must be the problem, so. So if I duplicate this track um, and then we'll go into effects this time. Now I've got to be super careful because this never works for me when I duplicate. No, it never seems to work. I don't know if it's something that I do every single time. Basically every time I duplicate a track, right, I always seem to just get this wrong. I always seem to kind of go um, and it just seems to sort of double up and it never works anymore. So. Um, which is always frustrating for me. So, um, there's a one to load at all now. Uh, let's go for a traditional and uh, let's go for. So, those are the long techniques, short techniques, evolutions. So, the Evo. So, you're talking like medieval folk Celt. So I'm gonna go for um oh god yeah we've got loads of my we? we've got um the ones that were featured on the live stream about an hour and a half ago so um the callers brass and wind so this might be quite useful for the melody that I was thinking about so uh, if we just can I take that one out and then add another one in I wonder so if I go to callers brush and wind, brass and wind let's go for let's try evos this time. So will this work? Yeah. So we've got, that's quite interesting. So if we just take out that one and we'll just go into our next, another one as well. So um, motors, let's try that one. So you can kind of do almost like Steve Reich um, isms. Get up a play now. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do I'll do the main screen if I can. Actually, that will look quite good. And then I'll do the two keyboards down the side. So this is a new view that I've never done before. So yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, this is one of the new views in Switcher Studio, actually, incidentally. So if I also notice that we've got pipes here. So if I go into pipes, let's have a listen to this one. So. Uh, Oh yeah, and we're going to go into main techniques. I always forget there's two steps with the contact libraries. So, uh...
definitely lower down, isn't it? Much, much better lower. That sounds silly. That sounds much better. Yeah, nice. I can see that doing quite well. So I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to go into the previous one, take this one out. So quite like the Mystics. Ah, it's really good. And it's just the one technique for that, isn't there? So the Callers, let's try um, effects this time. So the Callers effect. So... Mm, okay, cool. And then the motors, let's try that one next. So, motors. It's probably an easier way of what I'm doing. Cool. And then let's have a look at the, the band ones, the, the blackguards. So, we've got drones, which I'm going to have a look at in a minute. Bellows and strings and plucked. Let's have a look at um, the hurdy gurdy one. Uh, I was keen to have a go of this one from the. So you've got your drone that you then go over the, the other tune. It probably wouldn't work in the one I'm doing now, but who knows? We can maybe come back to that one and have a little play of that one too. So, uh, no, I'm not going to change um, the bells and string. Let's have a go, because you get quite Celtic stuff with this one, I would imagine. Uh, Turn down the, I'll turn down the mic so it's not too thumpy. Let's have a little play with this one. Okay, so it's got an interesting, interesting uh, sound to that. I th okay, good. So, um, um what is that? That's spoiled. I can see a faster version of that actually. I can see a faster version quite nicely. So, um. Interesting that one, interesting that one.
Okay, and I've just oh, sorry about that. And I've just gone full on <laughs> old field at Edinburgh Castle. Mm-hmm, interesting. So um, it's got some good, it's got some good sounds in there, definitely. So um, main techniques. What's this one? Now I wrote a tune back in the 90s which went like this. go on full sea shanty you can go on full folk you can go on full yeah the possibilities with that are absolutely endless well well done spitfire i think I, <laughs> yeah it's brought back some memories for me so which is awesome let's have a look now at the gut circle okay so we're gonna have a look at maybe main techniques of the gut circle let's have a listen <laughs>
to the summers project thank you very much for your comment in terms of being in glasgow it's uh, something that i do probably a few times a year i don't go up to glasgow a lot i'm actually living away from home at the moment so i do a lot of uh, living around but basically in terms of uh, doing something a collaboration we can talk send me some more details thank you very much for um your yeah thank you very much for that we can uh, we can do that so the summer's project yeah let's have a listen obviously today's just about making music and hopefully you're making music as well and yeah so i hope it's something that you are enjoying and this is basically in case you've just joined me spitfire audio solstice uh, so yeah, Spitfire Audio was Albion Solstice Library just gone live today. Very folk inspired, uh, not just Gaelic folk, but also a whole range of different styles of folk as well. And I was just having a little play to see what came up. And actually, there's lots of ideas that came up, and I quite like this library. I am loving it. It's making me miss home. So. Let's see if we can add something into this. And therefore it just writes itself there you go amazing stuff let's have a little recording then let's see if we can get this down because we are making music We can certainly tweak that till the cows come home, but not a bad little effort. So we are, wow, we are just over an hour in. So let's have a little listen to see how we go on. Thanks, Summer's Project. Do check out the channel if you want to know more about the music that I do. And likewise, if you go to the About page, you will see a list of contacts. You can find me there.
So does this need a base, do you think? I wonder if this is where our Abbey Road will come in then, maybe, um... Let's have a go. Yeah, let's give this a go. Okay, okay. So, um, probably around here. I rarely use these loop um, things, but for some reason today I seem to be using them. So let's have a play first. Yeah, let's do that. So, um, yeah, let's do that. So, basically, I think the bass we're looking at is strings based. Certainly for my taste. Here we go. Obviously, so, sorry. Some of the uh, it's funny how some of the uh, the dynamic side of things are a bit too punchy in places. But we can we can sort that. We can edit that out, uh, which is quite useful. So you just double click it, and then you go to automation, and then you select. I think in this case it will be uh, modulation, and you see it's all over the shop. So we might need to edit that as we go. But we'll do that. We'll play and we'll edit. And this is the beauty of it. You know, you're getting the idea down. You're getting the sketches down. So. Might need to do some velocity edits here, I think.
Do you know the problem is with this is there's too many notes in places. <laughs> um, simple sometimes and harmony. Cool. Right, let's have a go and have a listen to some other uh, of these solstice sounds. So we're going to go into contact again. Now, did we ever listen to the hosts? I don't think we did, you know. So let's have a look at the choir then. So it could be something we could get quite good fun with. So let's go over to the keyboard. is very fortitude. Yeah, that's good. I think we'll have fun with that. Different uh, style of music, I think, though, not so much fitting for this one. So the motors and effects in the choir. really nice I wonder what other things we could do with that and that of course is just simply um, yeah cool so right let's have a look at the marauders then so we haven't had a look at much of the percussion so let's have a look at that now. So the visitor grooves, let's have a look at grooves.
cool right my uh, my son has arrived back so uh, i had to sort of switch off the camera and make sure there wasn't any audio then so i'm liking this though have a listen to this building up this up nicely You could you could do some nice grooves with this. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Excellent. Gosh, I keep using... I should really have my mixer used, but I keep using my interface instead. Just all over the shop. This excitement. So basically, I hope that's given you a really interesting insight. So have a final listen uh, before I sign off for the stream tonight. Thank you very much for those of you who commented, for those of you who have watched. And if you haven't already, please like this video, share it with your friends, and importantly, subscribe to the channel, making sure that notification bell is dinked so that you are notified when I next post a video, which I reckon with this library and others, very, very soon. So I'll be doing some insight of how to write maybe some Scottish folk music, I would say. So for a final listen, sign off, and then I'll see you soon. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much for joining me this evening and thank you very much for your comments and I will see you in our live stream very, very soon. I'm hoping to do these monthly, like I say, and also check out the videos which I'll aim to release weekly or thereabouts. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for being a part of the Make a Music Day stream tonight and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.